Okay guys, quick clip on disconnecting your uh, e-brake handle completely off without having to <clears throat> cut the cable itself. Uh, if you get frustrated, uh, take a quick look at this video. Hopefully it's helpful for you so you're not uh, damaging anything in case you uh, change your mind later and want to reconnect your e-brake back in your car. Um, but looking at this, the e-brake sits just like that and on top you have this bracket with a bolt I'm sure you've noticed and it sits just like this so the problem that I'm sure you're running into is how the heck do I disconnect the cable itself uh, since it's sitting right behind that so the way that I got this to tilt this way is that if you once you take this from the top uh, this bracket right here or I'm sorry this contraption I suppose uh, there's a a pin under pressure that you can that sits right on top here that you can use a screwdriver amount that and you can move this out of the way which then allows you to turn turn the wheel itself um, basically all way like that. I don't know if I'm explaining it correctly, but hopefully you can see the purpose that it serves. So with this bracket on, on top here, so it's just like that. Once you take that off, it allows you to move this up once you release pressure from the pin. <clears throat> and then you can run this all the way down, <clears throat> which would then expose your e-brake cable. And from that point on, you can just pop it right out. And uh, that, and then you can take your e-brake out once you disconnect all the harnesses.